from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Dee O'Reilly. Greg has a look at your forecast coming up. But first, I want to get to your ABC Action News headlines. U.S. Special Forces carried out a large-scale counterterrorism raid in Syria overnight. According to the Syrian Civil Defense, 13 people, including six children, were killed in clashes during and after the raid. None of them are American. President Biden issued a statement this morning saying the raid killed the leader of ISIS. He says the operation was to, quote, protect the American people and our allies and make the world a safer place. The Tampa City Council is talking about a plan to keep millions of gallons of wastewater out of the bay every day. The city calls this project the Pure Project. They say it could keep 50 million gallons a day of highly treated wastewater out of Hillsborough Bay. The reclaimed water could be pumped into the aquifer. This would make the city more resilient during drought conditions. It can also keep water levels flowing better on the lower Hillsborough River, supporting fish and wildlife. Council members are discussing more than a million dollars in funding for the project today. Meanwhile, the St. Pete City Council will discuss expanding boundaries for a sidewalk table ordinance. Back during the pandemic, the city of St. Pete allowed restaurants to put more tables outside after studies showed that the COVID-19 virus didn't spread as much, didn't spread as much outside. Well, today's agenda item only marks it as a discussion, but we'll let you know what happens. One Florida County is blaming at home COVID-19 tests for a high COVID positivity rate, raising questions about how these tests could influence data. Seminole County's COVID-19 positivity rate was more than 30% last week. That is significantly higher than the surrounding counties like Orange and Osceola. But local officials say that's because of measures that they put in place to make at home testing more widely available as an alternative to appointments at in-person sites. Now you're supposed to send your at home test results to the Florida Department of Health, but the county claims that that rarely happens. So they say many negative tests are not being counted. So the positivity rate might not be accurate. Big Storm Brewing Company, based in Clearwater, is releasing a new beer today. The proceeds will help feed people in need across the Bay Area. The brewery is teaming up with a nonprofit, Feeding Tampa Bay, to create Hops for Hunger, a honey wheat orange ale. A percentage of every beer sold will go to Feeding Tampa Bay. There is a release event this afternoon at Big Storm Brewing Company in Clearwater. It starts at 4 o'clock. Hey, the search is on for the football from Tom Brady's very last touchdown pass. Mike Evans caught the ball during the Bucks playoff game against the, land, the Rams. Later, Evans tossed it into the stands, not knowing that this was an historic catch. According to Leland's auction house, that football, very valuable, could be worth a cool million or more. Greg D, whoever's got it, getting ready to make a whole lot of money. Yeah, they are. They're going to get rich really fast on that one. Hey there, everybody. What a beautiful day out there. Get outside and enjoy some warmer temperatures. Mid-80s for the beginning of February. Not where we normally should be this time of year. Near record high, in fact. Going to see a nice southerly breeze throughout the day at about 10 to 15 miles an hour. And mostly sunny skies. Just a couple of fair weather clouds in the afternoon. This does continue at least for one more day. Take a look at your seven day forecast. It's in the ABC Action News app right now, Dia. All right, thank you, Greg. You can now get news 24 hours a day on ABC Action News Plus. Just download the ABC Action News app on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, or Apple TV.